If you're somebody who leads an in-house service design team or know somebody who leads an in-house service design team, and pay close attention because this video might be very interesting for you. Now, I've never been part of an in-house team. I've, my entire service design life has been in an agency, but over the years through the service design show, I've spoken with many, many in-house service designers. So and I know a little bit about the challenges they face. And one of the things that became really clear is that when you're uh, especially in a position where you need to grow and lead a service design team, it can be quite challenging. It can be, it's a really difficult position to actually be in because you don't have a lot of peers around you to gauge how good you're doing stuff. You don't have a point of reference and it can even sometimes be lonely. Where do you find the colleagues and peers where you can uh, yeah, exchange your ideas with and learn about best practices? There aren't a lot of places where you can do that until now, because this summer, and it's quite windy here, so I hope you hear me well. Uh, this summer, I'll be hosting campfire sessions, especially for in-house service design leads. These campfire sessions will be four one-hour video calls uh, with a small group of people, somewhere between eight and 10 participants, where we dig into the challenges in-house service design team leaders face and just share experiences. How do people solve them? Um, what kind of strategies do they use? What kind of challenges do we have across the globe? Because service design is a global community. So if you're interested in participating in these campfire sessions, um, here's how you can apply. Send me a video, go on a platform like loom.com and send me a video where you answer three questions. Tell me something about your organization, your team and your role. And then I'd love to hear what are the challenges that you face? What are the day-to-day -day challenges that you have? And finally, let me know when would these campfire sessions be a success for you? So these three questions and there probably won't be enough room in these campfire sessions to let everybody in in this first round. So uh, be as elaborate as you can with your replies. That helps me to yeah, create a well-balanced group where we can have valuable conversations in a safe environment about the things that we usually don't get to discuss. So all the details are also in the post and um, send it in before July, Friday, July third that gives me some time to uh, actually create those groups so if this video was interesting for you or you know somebody who might be interested um, forward the video forward this message or tag them in the comments below and i'm really excited and looking forward to these campfire sessions so see you over there